Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Rick Owens. And uh, what is, Can well, I guess... the URL? Ah, okay. Uh, got okay, it. You got that? Yep, press Great. it, yep, okay. Let's and um, what is your position on the uh, gun case? All right, the, the, the Second Amendment is clearly predicated on uh, the rights of states to maintain militias. Uh, it's clear from the language, even the punctuation. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, uh, it's about free states in a republic. Okay, this is the capital of the republic. It is not a free state. This is antithetical to being a free state. Uh, this is a place for Congress. Uh, and, and therefore, the, the, uh, the evidence of the intention of the founders is uh, geographic that they wanted a place distinct from states to convene. And therefore, the Second Amendment does not apply in D.C. Further, the Second Amendment is, has been obsoleted as pertains to weapons of mass destruction, which no reasonable person would, would presume the Founding Fathers could imagine. And also, the same logic that, that makes, uh, makes it clear to me that Silver erred in striking down the D.C. gunman and that the D.C. gunman should be upholded, the same logic that supports that supports the idea that it is up to the states to determine whether or not their their citizens should be entitled to have weapons such as uh, automatic rifles. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so by the same logic that the D.C. handgun ban is supportable, the, the federal ban on assault weapons is not supportable. Ah, on, interesting. On, on okay. The, on, the, on the state states' rights uh, logic, which I believe is, is unmistakable from the evidence of the Constitution, and if you spin around a little bit with that camera, you can see all the evidence of the, founder, the Founding Fathers' intention to have a special place to meet. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, I see you have... Oh, okay.